Most metals shrink when they cool, but cerobend is unique. It actually grows. This is due to the high content of bismuth, 50%. Off the top of my head, I can only think of a couple uh, metals that have this property, bismuth and gallium. So for today's experiment, I'm using a couple of pipettes to uh, fill with uh, Cerobin and demonstrate how they grow. I originally thought of using a glass tube, but then the uh, thought of it expanding would probably cause it to crack. Yep, metric is easier. I plugged the end of the tube with a paper towel. Note to self, this is not a good idea. A rubber stopper would have been a lot easier to clean up in the end. Uh, but I was using what I had, of course. I tilted the tube slightly uh, so that I could fill it with the dropper. I was a little concerned that I might hit my hand with molten metal, uh, but the dropper worked perfectly. Obviously, gloves would have been a, a good choice here. Um, sometimes when you're in a hurry, you make poor choices. This is a good example of a poor choice. I quenched the tubes uh, in a bucket of water. The faster you quench it, the smaller the crystals will form, which improves the ductility of the metal. Uh, both samples uh, appeared to grow at a very consistent rate at about uh, 0.9 of a percent, uh, just under 1%. Uh, which was pretty cool. I then busted up the uh, samples and uh, put them back into the cerro dropper and remelted them uh, to cast back into ingots.